Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma and I make weekly art videos. In today's video I am doing a pastel piece again. I have really been enjoying doing pastel pieces recently but I wanted to push myself a little bit more than just doing the sunsets that I've done so far and do something a little bit more involved and detailed. So I decided to go for a hummingbird and a foxglove as uh, foxgloves are one of my favourite summer flowers and I just thought that a hummingbird would look really good with it. Um, so anyway I am using pastel mat, um, pan pastel and koinor geochanda, gochanda, I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce that as you can tell, uh, pastel pencils. Um, there is a limited colour palette as I've got the 24 set of um, pastel pencils but hopefully I am going to be getting a larger set for my birthday which is soon um, so therefore some of the colours in this piece are a little bit too bright or are not really how I wanted them especially the greens I didn't really have the range of greens that I needed to be able to do the leaves as you can see in the uh, in the video going on in the background here it was a lit little bit too bright a little bit too yellow so I tried to tone them down as much as possible with a grey or a brown and yeah I'm, I'm happy with the the outcome anyway so for this piece I actually used two separate references from Pixabay and put them together I sketched them out first with a pale peach pastel on the dark blue pastel mat and I started off with the foxglove as you can see um, using a mixture of a mid pink, uh, purple for the shadows and peach for the highlights and using the same process on all of the flowers laying down the mid tone first, the pink and then going in with the purple and blending that with the pink and then adding the um, peach as well and bl just blending them all together on the paper until I was happy with the result and using the pencils in small light circular motions helps the colours to uh, create a really smooth blend as well so I'm hoping that you be can actually see that on the video as I am working and to add the white dots on the inside of the flower I just pressed a little bit harder on the paper so that the pastel underneath was pushed out of the way and uh, instead of actually blending into the white I didn't just want it to make a slightly lighter peach pinky version of the colour underneath um, so yeah but other than where I pushed really hard. This paper is actually really good, it doesn't make very much dust at all, so that was really good. Once I was happy with the flower, I moved on to the hummingbird, as you will see in a minute. And I started by laying down a variety of greens and blues, um, of, well, a variety, I didn't have that many, but of the ones I had, I laid down greens and blues. And first I did an undetailed base layer, which I then went back over and added more detail later and uh, using both dark and lighter shades and in some places even black and white and greys. Um, I did struggle more with the bird as I only had one grey and one brown so it was very very hard to get decent looking shadows. Uh, the, I feel like the colours ended up much more muddied than I would have liked really especially on the chest area and the wings. Uh, the wings are far far too dark um, but I did the best with the tools that I had and uh, hopefully soon I'll have a, a larger range of colours to work with. Um, so yeah, um, I so I did the bird and when I was finally happy with that I then decided that I needed to go back over the entire background and make it look a lot better. I was really disappointed actually in the pan pastel that I'd used to try and do the background. Um, it was really patchy covering and however much I tried it would not lay down much pigment on the paper at all um, and in some places it was just hardly, oh, I just felt like it was non-existent um, even though it, wa it wasn't oversaturated with pastel in, in certain areas it just refused to lay down in an, an even kind of layer so I wasn't really happy with that um, so I took the lightest blue pastel pencil that I had and went over the entire um, piece with that and that did actually end up giving it a much more solid finish. Um, I don't know if I was doing something wrong with the pan pastels, if you know what I was doing wrong please let me know. Um, but uh, as it is at the moment I don't think I'll be investing in, 
in more of them because it just didn't feel like it was good enough quality to to warrant it. I mean, you can see if you look at the picture, the 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 background is just all patchy and horrible. Um, I'd started at this stage to go round some of the flower with the blue, and it was just a slightly different shade. But at, in the end, I think the the blue um, pastel pencil looks a lot better than the actual pastel. Um, Oh, my brain's all over the place today. Uh, then the pan pastel. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty happy with this piece, given the range of colours that I had. Um, yeah, I, I think the flower turned out better than the hummingbird, but, you know, that's, that's just what happens sometimes. I really enjoyed doing this piece. I really hope you've enjoyed watching it. Um, if you have, then please feel free to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help my channel to know what kind of things you like. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Have you ever had experience using pan pastels? Do you think they're good, bad, uh, ugly? <laughs> um, yeah, no, let me know what you think. That would be great. And uh, I will leave you to some music now. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next video next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, bye. Thank you.